back to the run home with Joel and Fletch on this Valentine's Day. Brian, we need to talk a bit of rugby league. We've been doing these season previews, which mm-hmm. you can catch up on all of those through the YouTube channel, the run home with Joel and Fletch. Uh, today we move on to the Canberra Raiders, Brian. But, of course, before we delve into season 2024, we must do what, Brian? We have got to go back before we can go forward. That's right. Joel. That's exactly right. So the 2023 season, they scraped into the finals. So they won two of their last eight games with a negative points differential. And, mm. and it was big negative. So their differential last year was 14th of 17. Mm. That That's not good. Uh, close to 700 points, I think you'll find, conceded. So that's a concern. Um, but we move on to 2024. Their biggest win was by 12 points. Never, ever 13 plus. They were awesome against the Knights in week one of the finals. Mm. Jared Croker, he was desperately trying to find game 300. He's since retired. Matt Timokor, he's, I think he's a gun. gun. Absolutely. Absolute gun. Uh, 11 tries. He was the only player on the side to play all games for the year. Hudson Young made his Blues debut. It was a mixed debut, I'd fair to say. So who do they pick up? Simi Sasagi from the Knights. K.O. Weeks from the Seagulls. Morgan Smithies, who was one of the best performers in the Super League Grand Final, which the Wigan Warriors won. Mm. And, of course, they'll take on the Panthers in the World Club Challenge. Zach Hosking, part of the Panthers squad, he joins them as well. They lose Jack White, Matt Frawley, Jared Croker, Clay Webb. Harley Smith-Shields has gone to the Titans. Very, very tricky. Uh, no Corey Horsburgh for the first week or so. Mm-hmm. Brian, where do you see the Raiders in 2024? Mm. Well, it, the loss of Jack White is massive. Yep. But by all reports, KO Weeks has been slaying them at training. And I know it's the, uh, it's the old training the house down. Yep. But my understanding is sticks right behind him and said, I'm going to put you at six. Yep. He's going to be playing 5'8". And he had a lot of raps on him going to when he was at Manly. Sort of got shifted around a little bit, played a little bit of fullback, played a little bit of centre, come off the bench. So maybe he that's all he needs. He just needs the confirmation from Stick yep. that'll give him the confidence. Um, look, they've got two players there who I think are the best in their position in the competition. Joe Tarpany? Joe Tarpany. I know Payne Hass is a fantastic footballer, but Joseph Tarpany, I think he's a phenomenal front row. Okay, you said two players. Matt, Matty Timoko. He's the best in the I competition. Think, I think he's, he's the best centre. I, I think he is. Wow. I, 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 is. I, I, man, I I'm not arguing. I love him. Because it's a big what, statement, what he does is he does it all himself. Yep. You know, he comes back on that line where he just pl- yep. goes through the middle. Yep. Big and strong and fast. He has. He didn't have a 5'8 throwing him a long ball and hit, putting him through holes. A lot of the stuff he does, I mean, Joey Mann is very similar as well, but I think this kid can... I just love watching him play. Uh, 623 points in the against column. This is yeah. my concern for them, right? Yeah. So to give you context for that, for, so teams who had fewer points conceded against them, Manly by almost 100. Um, North Queensland who missed the finals, Para who missed the finals, South who missed the finals. H- how do you fix that? That's Defence. Yeah. Yeah, well, Sticky's the one. Sticky's always big on, on defence. I, I don't know. I just think it's the mindset of, of some of the players sometimes. They did have an interrupted sort of season in the sense of in their middles. Um, Josh Papali, he probably didn't have his best year. But your yep. man's here. you got big raps on your man. Who's that? Mariotta. Oh, Mariotta. I, I love him. Yeah. Arda Mariotta. I, he, he, I think, is going to be one of the premier forwards within the next two go. years. Okay. He's a gun. There's no question about that. I'll tell you who there's a bit of a spruik on, Brian. And he, he, I've watched him. He's a little bit Pappenhausen, a little bit Teddy, Chevy Stewart. I'm not saying he's compared to them. I'm just saying his style of play looks similar to them. Is he in front of... He's uh, a Kernel boy. Is he? Is he in front of Badat Sav? Yes. Because Badat Sav was yep. the spruik. Yeah. And I, I, I haven't got around batted seven fullback. Okay. He might be a winger. He's elite speed, but um, I'd be shocked if it's not Chevy Stewart. Yeah. But that means that their spine may be Chevy Stewart, KO Weeks, Jamal Fogarty, and um, Colonel Rambuka. Who's that going to be? Um, Zachy Wolford. Tommy Starling, Zach Wolford, or Danny Levi. So the spine mm. is a little bit inexperienced. Inexperienced. I would, I would say. Inexperienced. Yeah. And I think Ricky knows that. Yep. I think it's a huge, as I mentioned before, huge out with Jack White and 
having a play Massive of his, yeah. his ability. Mate, this is a bloke who's there. won a Clive Churchill, who's won a Dally M, M, and New South Wales would take him into the blue side at the drop mm. of a hat. Forwards, their forwards, are, it's a pretty good forward pack when you, when you look at it. I don't, ha- I don't have him in my eight, no. I have him dropping out. Yes, I, I, I concur with that. Uh, Elliot Whitehead, okay, is there a world in which... When we've been asking this about all the teams, if everything went to plan, is there a world in which the Raiders win the comp? No. Is there a world in which the Raiders get the spoon? No. No? No. They're not just, no. No. No, they won't get the spoon. Elliot Whitehead on Jamal Fogarty as vice captain. It's some of the things Sticky spoke to me about, and, you know, we thought Jamal was the right person to step up and take that role. You know, being his main halfback, he has to have that voice on the field as well, so... Yeah, we sat down, we spoke about that with Ricky, and um, yeah, it's a good choice. And the big presence around the place at the moment, and he's got a big voice, so, you know, just giving him that role as well to help me lead the team around is going to be helpful for us. Okay, there he is, Elliot Whitehead. And, and you know what, he, he screams as being a leader, Jamal Fogarty. Brian, mm-hmm. I want to talk about Josh Papali'i, who, what a career he's been. He's had for Australia, for Queensland. I'll never forget, uh, was it the Roosters he tore apart at the SCG? Yeah. One particular night. He's tore up Melbourne tore a couple of Sharks, times. Sharks, Melbourne Storm. But these big forwards, like like old cabs, Brian, like when you've got so many in yeah. the odometer, I get a bit worried about it. I've got a big watch this year personally, and I hope they prove me wrong because their careers have been enormous. Josh Papali'i yeah. and Junior Paulo. Yeah. They're two players. I'm going to be watching their stats very, very closely. Mm, yeah. The, the days of playing big minutes, I think, are... They're before them, aren't they? Well, mate, they've, they've given uh, so much to the yeah. game. And you're human. It does take it out of you. does take it out of you. Uh, Jace doesn't agree with me about uh, he's not even close, Matt Timoko. He's even close to the best centre in the game. Well, oh, yeah, I watched when he played against Australia at the end of the year and mm. absolutely tore our centres a, a, new new, one. a new one. <laughs> I, just like watching him, I just like watching him play, and I think he's right up there. Yeah, but why can't he be, Brian? If he's done that there on the biggest stage... Mm. You're playing with Canberra, who aren't world beaters. If you had thrown him into the Panthers, for example. Oh, yeah. Or the Broncos, for example. Do you reckon people have a different opinion? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Just yeah. What, how quick he is and how... Powerful. Yeah, strong. Powerful. Mate, and talented, too. Like, I was watching him in a game. And, obviously, a lot of these young kids are getting into their Super Bowl, in, into their NFL. Mate, he was holding a Steeden, and he was just pegging it quarterback style, yeah. 50 metres. Just... A, he's a talent, mate. He's, he's a serious talent. I was speaking about uh, throwing balls a long way. Um, Nathan Wood can throw a golf ball 150 metres. No way. 150. How much have you tried it? I got to about 80 metres. Ooh, 150 to your 150. 80. He were at AS Marks. He threw it from the dead ball line and cleared it by 20 metres. Are you... Um, I don't know how he does it. Has he got a cricketing background? Natty Wood? Yeah. No. Maybe no. just throwing rocks in her go. <laughs> Maybe that's what he was doing. He might have been doing that. It's a run home with Joel and Fletch. Heaps of texts coming through. We need to jump onto those yeah. as well. 0457 736 736. Your thoughts on our Raiders appraisal? If you've missed any of it, it'll be up on the YouTube page. That's the way to do that. Uh, and hello to the podcast listeners tuning in belatedly. Don't forget, you can get us Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. live on your SEN network. If you're in Sydney, 1170 up there in Queensland, 693 a.m. is the way to do that. It's a run home with Joel and Fletch.